You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Morning in your 11 minutes of nonstop news, an attorney gunned down his office building set on fire. An investigator say it all ties back to his client's divor divorce. Those details straight ahead. Plus, that suspended gas tax could be going away, but Georgia's governor plans to pad your pockets in another way. As we start your weekend, we got more clouds pushing into the area. Also, some rain pushing in. Will it be around all weekend long? I'll let you know in the full forecast straight ahead. And we start with two breaking stories in the metro right now. Police have arrested four people accused of trying to break into an off-duty officer's patrol car. Yeah, police say two of the suspects are under the age of 18, and police tell us the suspects stole a vehicle yesterday along Northside Drive, then used it for other crimes. Officers tracked them down this morning on Donnelly Holloway Parkway and Bolton Industrial. APD says the suspects tried to get away in this red car, but eventually they crashed. Also breaking in Clayton County, police say they've arrested a suspect in connection to the kidnapping of an elderly woman. They released this video of a man suspected of stealing a car outside the Lucky Food Mart on North Main Street Thursday, while an 86-year-old woman with dementia was still inside. She was later found safe. That stolen vehicle also found, but police have not said if the person they arrested is the same person as the one we see here in this video. Developing story out of Gwinnett County, a prominent divorce attorney killed in cold blood. And investigators say the suspect is a client's ex. Molly Oak is following the shocking twist in the story. Both court documents and police files show what started as a contentious divorce case ended in homicide and arson at one of the divorce attorney's law offices. It happened late Wednesday. Lawrenceville attorney Doug Lewis was in the office by himself when he was shot and his offices were set on fire. One of Lewis's clients was a woman who had filed for divorce early last year. Police say it was the woman's husband, Alan Taya, who went after Lewis Wednesday. Taya is initially being charged with two felonies, malice murder and arson. Police and fire investigators, along with medical examiner, are still working to learn the exact cause of death. Meanwhile, police say the suspect hasn't made any comment about the accusations. Guys. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news right now, family and friends are getting ready to remember the second child killed in a shooting near Atlantic Station. Tomorrow, 12 year old Zion Charles will be laid to rest. Zion died late last month in that shooting. A 15 year old also died and four others were hurt. Zion service is Saturday at the first Iconium Baptist Church in Atlanta at 1 p.m. After the funeral, the concerned black clergy of metropolitan Atlanta will march to the Capitol to call for solutions to youth violence. The man who shot and killed two Cobb County deputies will spend the rest of his life in prison. Cobb County officials tell 11 Alive Christopher Golden pleaded guilty to murder Thursday to avoid facing the death penalty. Deputies Jonathan Koleski and Marshall Irvin Jr. were gunned down back in September trying to serve a warrant for another man. The Department of Education opening a federal investigation into Atlanta public schools after claims about students being segregated. That's according to CNN. A parent says Mary Lynn Elementary separated classrooms by race dating back to last school year. According to the complaint, the school's assistant principal admitted in a recorded conversation she was aware of the class separation created by the principal. APS issued a statement saying they are aware of the complaint and they're following the, cor the correct process. WNBA star Brittany Griner is back on U.S. soil this morning after being released from a Russian prison. You're looking at new video from San Antonio, Texas, where Griner just stepped off the plane within the last hour. She was released after being in custody since February. It was part of a prisoner swap in exchange for the U.S. releasing Victor Bot, a Russian arms dealer known as the Merchant of Death. Coming up on the Today Show, more on Griner's return to the U.S., including her wife's reaction when she learned the news at the White House. That's on Today, right after 11 Alive Morning News. Governor Brian Kim says he is pressing pause on Georgia's gas tax for the last time. Yeah, we know it's been in place for months, but it's set to officially end January 10th. Liza Luke is here with us, so Liza, the governor, says he, okay. Don't fret. I'm going to save you some money in other ways or get you some more money. That's right. And he says suspending the gas tax. That was meant to be a short term plan to deal with high costs and inflation. But going forward, he's going to be looking to some of those campaign promises he made to save Georgians money. Now that includes asking lawmakers to approve an income tax refund identical to the one we saw earlier this year. And if approved, single filers would receive $250 coming up the next year and married couples filing jointly $500. 
Also on the table, a plan to help homeowners with property taxes. In January, the governor will ask lawmaker, lawmakers rather, to approve a property tax rebate. The average savings for that would be around $500. You would need to be receiving that homestead exemption in order to qualify. Now, the legislative session starts January 9th, and Governor Kemp's office says these proposed savings will be top priority. All right, Liza, thank you. So if you are in the city of Atlanta, you need some help getting your water bill up to date. You have a chance to do that until January 1st. It is called the Float Initiative. It's offered by the Atlanta Watershed Management Program. This program helps you get your account up to date by offering adjustments, interest-free payment plans, as well as a one-time grant and credits. To be eligible, you must have an account balance of $300 minimum. You can head to atlantawatershed.org for a list of places where you can visit to talk about your options. Chesley. All right, let's take a look. If you're going out this afternoon, carry the umbrella with you folks. There'll be some scattered showers around the area. Temperatures will be in the 60s pretty much through the day. In fact, reaching a high of about 68, 69 degrees, so not as warm as we saw it just yesterday. Uh, those showers will produce some moderate rainfall at times before starting to subside once we get past 7 or 8 o'clock this evening. But you'll keep the, shade, uh, the rain around, at least for your evening commute. If you're heading home over the weekend, we'll catch a break on Saturday, then Sunday, more rain returns. I don't even want to say nothing. I just want you a chance to breathe. You all right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna go home now. Okay, all I right. <laughs> you gotta stay busy. You gotta stay here. We'll see you at 726. <laughs>